Enzymes produced by intestinal bacteria can change your blood type. Scientists have identified enzymes produced by a certain species of bacteria living in our gut that can turn any blood type into universal type O. This research could increase the availability of universal blood type, potentially saving many lives. Scientists have been working for years to produce artificial blood or develop a process that changes blood types. All this to increase the availability of blood for those in need. A blood transfusion can save a life, but from a patient with the wrong type it can be life-threatening. While patients with blood type O can only receive transfusions of red blood cells of the same type, donations of this blood type are compatible with all other types. In an emergency situation, there may not be time to fully check your blood type, which is why having enough type O blood is so important to the health service. This problem would be solved by artificial blood or an effective process of changing the blood type to universal type O. Blood groups were discovered in 1901 by the Austrian researcher Karl Landsteiner. He noticed chemical compounds on erythrocytes, i.e. red blood cells, later called antigens. They determine the blood type. They allow erythrocytes to circulate without triggering a response from the immune system. If we asked someone what blood groups exist, they would without hesitation mention A, B, 0, possibly adding the Rh and Rh plus factors. But there are many antigens, which translates into many blood group systems. Currently, over 40 such systems are known, which depend on the presence of 362 antigens on red blood cells. But it turns out that there are enzymes that can remove specific sugars that make up antigens A and B. This creates blood from group O, which can be transfused to anyone. Recent research by scientists from Denmark and Sweden, published in the journal Nature Microbiology, indicates that the technique could alleviate global shortages of universal blood supplies. This method works especially well for type B blood. For the first time, the new enzyme cocktails remove not only the well-described A and B antigens, but also extended variants that were not previously considered problematic from the point of view of transfusion safety. We are now close to being able to produce universal blood from type B donors, although there is still much work to be done to transform the more complex type of blood. We are now focusing on examining in detail whether there are additional obstacles and how we can improve our enzymes to achieve the ultimate the goal of universal blood production. Said Professor Mar Abu Hatcham from the Technical University of Denmark. The enzymes Hatcham mentioned come from the Akkermansia mucinifila bacteria that live in our intestines. They break down intestinal mucus to obtain the compounds they need for life. And they do it using specific enzymes. Complex sugars found in the intestinal mucosa resemble those found on the surface of red blood cells. This similarity suggested to researchers that these bacteria could be used to create universal blood. The uniqueness of the mucous membrane is that the bacteria that can live on this material often have specially adapted enzymes that break down the sugar structures of the mucous membrane. 
including blood group A and B antigens, admitted Hatcham. Converting red blood cells to the universal type O is not a new idea. Back in 1982, scientists discovered an enzyme extracted from coffee beans that could strip B blood cells of their surface sugars. However, this reaction was not effective, making it impractical to use on a large scale. And despite early promising research results, safety concerns were raised. Only a few years ago, enzymes produced by intestinal bacteria were discovered and are much better at removing antigens from red blood cells. Based on previous research, Scientists from Denmark and Sweden selected several potential enzymes produced by the bacterium Akkermansia muccinifila and treated red blood cells collected from multiple donors of different blood types with them. It turned out that the enzymes removed A and B antigens and their subtypes. Universal blood will enable more efficient use of donor blood and will also help avoid erroneous administration of a transfusion that is not matched in terms of AB0, which may lead to potentially fatal consequences for the recipient, noted Professor Martin L. Olson from Lund University. The research is in its early stages. But scientists say that by finding enzymes that remove a greater variety of A and B antigens, they are discovering the missing link needed to produce universal blood for transfusions.